All right, you know, you, you go to no garage sale or estate sale or, and you find a, a piece of old cast iron there that you think, boy, I, I really like that, but that thing is eat up with rust. You know, I've never seen a piece of cast iron that you couldn't bring back to life unless it was just cracked smooth in half. And m mine is not that way, but you're going to find old pieces or you're going to not clean something proper maybe and you get in a hurry and you store it for six or eight months and you break it back out of there. And in the corner where there was moisture that set, there's rust, you know. Uh, there's so many ways that I've heard for so many years going, you know, this is how I get rust out. This is what I do. This is what I do. If mine are rusted or I find something, an old piece that I use, and it's, if I can't get it out with a wire brush or a piece of steel wool, heat. Heat and oil, heat and oil, back and forth. I'll throw one in old Bertha, just throw it in a bed of coals and let it set till it burns everything out. Sure, you're losing whatever might, you might have in seasoning, but with the rust in there, you need to get that going anyway. It will properly clean cast iron back to its original condition. Then you're gonna have to heat and oil, heat and oil, heat and oil till you get this thing back to a polished surface that it is. Uh, and one thing you need to remember in cast iron, if, it's, if you're trying to repair it, uh, is always treat it gradually. Never let it see most extremes. Uh, if you take an old Dutch oven and you're cooking and say it's 15 degrees, you're at a deer camp and you cook a cobbler in it or bake some potatoes and then you just take it and set it out there beside the, the wall tin or something in some snow, you can go back in the morning, you got two more Dutch ovens than you did have because it's split and cracks right straight in half. So we pre-warm cast, not as you preheat an oven to bake in, but pre-warm it before you set it on something to cook because Nobody likes a change in temperature that drastic, I promise you, and cast doesn't either. And, you know, you clean cast iron in different methods. Uh, the, the writing on all cast, I don't care what kind it is, anything that's there collects ash, collects dust, then you get grease in it, and then it builds up an old residue that's here and hard to get out. Uh, I always try to keep a pretty good wisp broom uh, to just get the dry ash off of it to keep. But always remember... If cast iron is not cracked, it's not got a hole in it, or it's not got an old blemish that you just can't get by, you can bring any piece of cast back to life. I guarantee you, we used to bury an old skillet three months before a cooking school, let them sit there and rust, dig it out the first night and hold it up and say, who wants to eat out of this? And nobody would raise their hand. I'd say, you will by Saturday. Because cast will last forever if you'll take care of it. And the best thing you can cook in cast iron after you get it going for our potatoes, because Cass loves starch.